What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now it's pretty apparent that back in 2019 and 2020, Marvel Studios announced way too many projects. The recent revelation, this was actually higher ups at Disney that forced them to do that, doesn't change the fact that over the next three or four years, they're still working through those projects and we won't see some of them like Ironheart until a full five years or more after that project was announced. But the exciting thing about Marvel getting through the end of this initial Phase 4 and Phase 5 announcement is that all of the other projects that are on the horizon are completely unknown or at least not announced by Marvel in any way. Well today the international trades have picked up a huge scoop, a pair of unlikely directors that are writing a quote unquote secret Marvel movie. We're going to go ahead and break down the article, talk about who these directors are, what the details in the article were, and based on them, try to guess for which character this origin story might be matching up with, and it's pretty difficult considering considering how little we know going into the rest of the multiverse saga, I'm going to speculate just a little bit again on which character I think this is and talk about which directors have now been tapped on the international scene to write the next Marvel movie. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner for Loki's finale. We're also giving away one for the Marvel's drop. Those will basically be within the same week. We're doing a daily comic book giveaway all the way through October as well. Again, all you got to do be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so this story actually broke late last week under headlines like, quote, exclusive buzz, Sita Menon, Raj, and DK working on Marvel superhero film with the subcontext that Marvel liked the flavor that Raj and DK brought to their stories and had a probable discussion to come aboard and create a quote cool new origin story for a superhero they go on to say quote that over the last few years raj and dk have consolidated their positions as two of the most consistent directors in india cinema the duo have delivered memorable stuff in the digital world like the family man farzi and guns and gulabs among others the next is citadel in association with the russo brothers who directed several cult classic marvel superhero films and now the industry is buzzing with news that the dynamic duo of raj and krishna dk along with their writing partner sita menon are writing a superhero film for marvel Marvel. They continue by saying, quote, sources within the industry informed us that Marvel was introduced to the work of Raj and DK and Sita Menon through the Russo brothers who are working with the trio on Citadel. Quote, Marvel liked the flavor that Raj and DK brought to their stories and had a discussion to come aboard and create a cool new origin story. They have commissioned the responsibility to Raj and DK who are at the present working towards developing the story revealed the source close to pre-development on the project. According to that source as well, it's a long journey ahead for Raj and DK as the project would depend on several contingencies. Quote, at first, Marvel should like what Raj and DK present. Once the basic draft is greenlit, there will be several writers in a writer's room discussion to enhance the write-up, and only then will the paperwork happen for this feature presentation. Right now, they are commissioned to develop one of the superhero origin ideas. Now, obviously, the next question on everybody's mind, since Raj and DK are notable directors, is would they be directing this Marvel superhero film that they're writing? And they conclude the article by saying this, quote, More details on the project are awaited, though. It's still not known if the story that the trio is working on is that of an Indian superhero or just another Western character joining the MCU. Quote, at present, they are writing the film, and it's not known if they will be on board to direct to the source concluded and of course Raj and DK remained unavailable for comments because of course they would now this is the fun part of the video because we know pretty little about what's coming from Marvel Studios in the way of new origin stories but we can sort of narrow this down and maybe rule some projects out what I will say though in an immediate reaction to this is that everybody who seemed more familiar with their work than me is super excited at the prospect of this news and I'm a little surprised it's actually taken Marvel Studios this long to really start tapping into India India cinema, which India happens to be one of the biggest Marvel markets on the entire planet. Now, that being said, is there any way of telling what movie this could be for? And there is. We've actually narrowed it down to three characters. First, I want to rule out a couple, though. It's important to note that this is the first story showing up about new writers 
After we last heard and last week that Marvel has officially started fielding writers for the X-Men film, although I think it's sure to say that they're not in the running to direct that, and I say that only because Marvel Studios likes to control a lot of variables when it comes to their projects, and look at something like the Fantastic Four, where they opted to work with Matt Shackman, someone in-house, I think most likely someone to direct the X-Men might be someone they've already worked with. If you immediately jump to say something like the Fantastic Four or Blade, we already know who's penning the second and third draft respectively. Uh, Josh Friedman, the Snowpiercer writer, is finishing the next Fantastic Four draft, and Blade is on its third rewrite with Nick Pizzolatto, who's working off of Bo DeMeo's second draft, so they're not up for either of those films. And more important than either of those pieces of information are the details inside the article itself. Number one, they said twice that it's a feature length film or a movie, so definitely not a Disney Plus TV show. And number two, that it's specifically an origin story. And again, that to me leaves three characters, and really the only three characters that have been mentioned in the trades as having an upcoming solo story on the horizon and in the last 24 months. Those three names are Nova, Ghost Rider, and Norrin Rad the Silver Surfer. Now, interestingly enough, and for all three of those characters, Initial rumors had them as either a Disney Plus TV show or more likely a special presentation like that of Werewolf by Night, where those are feature length films, but just shorter films, not TV shows. It could be that they have been tapped to direct a film like that, something that would go to Disney Plus, something that's shorter in length, and one of these characters to make their introduction into the MCU. It could also be the case that they've actually moved these or one of these to the silver screen. This is something I think would most likely happen in Phase 7 or beyond the Multiverse Saga as we push into the Mutant Saga as we're affectionately calling the next one and as they start working towards the conclusion to what's going on with the Midnight Suns. So while I could be completely wrong about which film they are writing and as this mentions it could be for a brand new Indian superhero that they're trying to introduce into the MCU that would be totally cool as well. I think more likely the case though and especially with their new directive for quality over quantity and really focusing on the IP that drives the publishing it's got to be one of these three characters and I am all ears down below guys who you got Nova, Ghost Rider or Silver Surfer who would you prefer first as having an origin story in the MCU if Galactus is truly going to make his appearance in the MCU and sometime soon you would assume Silver Surfer would be of the utmost priority and I actually think Norrin Rad's origin story of going from Norrin Rad to the Silver Surfer would be perfect for about a 45 minute or one hour length special presentation on Disney Plus, but hey, that's just me. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we are still giving away a PlayStation 5. The next giveaway is right around the corner. In fact, it'll be back to back, one for the Marvels, one for Loki's finale. That'll be in the same week. If you wanna be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications notifications turned on and as always if you like today's video I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I'd sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real real soon.